So what we're doing today is what's called an initial electric fishing evaluation. This allows us to see inside the pond, you know, like, a, like an x-ray <laughs> for a doctor. Uh, so we can figure out what's going on with the fish population. We can uh, check out the, uh, the forage population as well as the predators. And it allows, us, uh, allows the pond owner to see what's going on and allows us to see what's going on so we can make you know, recommendations as to how to push the fish population along further. Um, we'll, uh, we're going to put in our electric fishing equipment and uh, go all around the whole lake and collect a, a really representative sample of the fish population and it'll allow us to, to see the whole picture. So we're measuring and weighing all these fish, uh, getting their uh, millimeter lengths and gram weight and tagging the larger bass and uh, we, uh, we try to, we've got our tag system down to the 16, the first number is the uh, year and then uh, each you know, successive tag is a different fish but we keep up with each tag number in our database and then if we catch that fish later we'll get a really accurate uh, growth rate on that fish and we know that instantly when we pick up the fish and check the tag number that it was tagged in 2016. Uh, we're going to get a length of each of these fish and then take a very small clip from their fin. It doesn't hurt them. Uh, it, it allows us to, to get an accurate uh, um, at just a tiny amount, we put them in this vial of uh, alcohol and then send it off to the lab. Go ahead and get a, a length on the, and let me write it down. 20. Well, in this lake, we've, uh, we've gotten the forage population and the bass population to the exact level we would like to see it and we've, we're growing lots and lots of five to seven pound bass, but we're not seeing as many eight plus pound fish as we feel like we should uh, with the amount of food that's available to them. And uh, so we're, I mean, you can see how just incredibly fat, beautiful these fish are, and they're, they're growing at a, phenomenal rate until they hit that uh, seven, you know, six and a half, seven pound range and they seem to be getting stuck. So we want to find out if it's the genetics that is holding them back. Uh, it's, it's almost got to be. And, and, and if, you know, if we find there's a high percentage northern, we may stock some pure Floridas in here to, to augment the uh, genetics and try to lean it towards fish that are, that'll get a little larger. Today we're, we're out here at this lake, it's about a 40, 40 to 50 acre lake and we're stocking some intermediate bluegill. The, uh, we found out through our electrofishing evaluation that the, the, bass, the bass numbers were so high that they've eaten their, their source of food. So we've come in and stocked some intermediate sized bluegill, three to five inches to help stimulate that, that food chain and, and get that back up going to, and to help the bass continue to grow and, and start growing even better than they are now. Um, and that along with bass harvest will, will help you attain your, your goals of getting some bigger bass. If you're stocking a new pond, we like to come in with 2,000 uh, fingerling bluegill at the beginning uh, of the pond's life. Typically like to do it in November. You can really do it from November to about March um, and then we'll come back in in that following June. It's best to try to get the bluegill in that November so they've got plenty of time to grow before the growing season gets here in, in the spring 
and allow those fish to get a spawn or two off before we get the bass fingerlings in in June. When the bass fingerlings are introduced into the lake, there's plenty of food available for them to eat and begin their growing cycle right then. Today we got a shipment of fish in. This is our, our first shipment in the fall. Um, when we're moving fish, we've got really two, two times of the year where we move fish in the spring or in the fall. Um, we don't move a whole lot of fish during the summer but just because of temperatures it can stress the fish out and, and have a lot of mortality. Uh, right now in the fall, this is October, the temperatures are starting to cool off. It's a great time to get some fish into your lake um, and, and get those fish established and, and going and that way when it comes around to next spring, these fish have kind of already figured things out and, uh, you know, and are ready to have a spot plan to, to spawn and can, can start giving back to the system and, and putting more fish into the system by spawning. Um, these intermediate sized bluegill are already sexually mature at this age and, and they can actually, sometimes they will get a fall spawn off you know, right before they go into the winter months. If you'd like to have southeastern pond management come out to your lake and give you an electrofishing evaluation, determine what's going on, determine the fish population in your lake and, and see if you need some fish or if you just need to get some fish coming anywhere from uh, intermediate bluegill, you know, fingerling bluegill, grass carp, bass, golden shiners, threadfin shad, even crawfish and sloppy in the spring, feel free to give us a call or send us an email and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. We'll be glad and happy to talk. There's a place I go, tuck back in the pine. Sacred